Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is a very big month for you. In the middle of the month, we are going to have a full moon in your sign. Now, normally you get one full moon per sign per year, and this is it. This is your moment, and this is going to be a moment of tremendous emotional honesty. It is going to be a moment where you are going to be considering different perspectives, certainly, but also tremendously brave as you look at yourself. It is this full moon that I think is going to be one of the turning points for you. As you reflect back on this year, you will realize that this was a time that you were able to be truly honest with yourself and recognize what needed to change. Now, a lot of this, I do think, is gonna play out within a situation with another person, and chances are there might be a lot of emotion attached to this as well. It is ultimately other people that have a way of evoking an understanding about whom it is that we really are and what it is that we really need, whether it is what we needed to change, what we needed to uh, understand ourselves better, what we needed to be more at peace with ourselves. It is our interactions that can serve as powerful learning tools that ultimately lead us back to ourselves and lead us back to the truth of ourselves. It is under the light of this full moon and the days leading up to it that two big power players are gonna change directions. Jupiter, currently moving through the part of the sky that has to do with your home in the sky, really. It is a part of the sky that has a natural correspondence to your sign. Well, it is this part of the sky where Jupiter is going to go direct just before that full moon. The other planet making big moves is your ruling planet, Uranus, which is going to stand still in the sky and go retrograde. So both of these planets at a very heightened place and both of these planets with an intimate connection to you and this full moon in your sign, well, all of these together represent an important moment for you. Now, I do think that a lot of this is gonna play out with another person, but it's almost like the stage is set at the beginning of the month. This month, we are going to start the month on a new moon, and we will end the month on a new moon as well. And to give you a little bit of a preview uh, before I dive into it in just a bit, the new moon that we end the month with is so harmonious. It is an energy that I think you are absolutely gonna love. It's gonna be that much easier to make changes and to move yourself in a direction of power, even wealth as well. And so I will tell you all about that in a moment, but before I do, let's bring it back. I just spoke to you about the full moon in your sign. At the beginning of the month, we are going to start this month on a new moon in your opposite sign. Now this new moon is happening close in the sky with Venus. Now that in and of itself can be really nice. That can be nice for partnerships and relationships of all kinds, including romantic relationships. However, it is going to be this configuration that is speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Again, Uranus is your ruling planet. So there is this wild card factor. There is a factor there that things are changing or you're realizing things or you're seeing or sensing some truth. And there may not be a lot that you feel you can do with it. There might be a motivation to be part of or to create some change. However, there may also be resistance. There's a sense here of even, I would say, some frustration as well. And I'm so sorry to say that, but I think that this is part of a wise plan of the universe to ultimately get you to you and your truth. Now, whatever it is that might feel challenging with another person at this new moon, it is possible you may connect with someone new and you're hoping uh, that this could be an opportunity, whether romantic or a professional opportunity. 
However, there's something there that is feeling like it's not quite sitting right or something within you that is feeling that this might be challenging. Well, it is going to be a week later that you will start to understand it and be restored to faith, really. A week into the month, what felt so difficult is going to have this moment of clarity, this moment of wisdom, really, where you see things from a more elevated perspective that ultimately allows you to keep the faith and to know that there are wonderful opportunities and wonderful people in the world for you and as part of your life as well. So this will set the stage for that full moon that then leads you to yourself, your personal honesty and your personal change. It leads you to understanding your past differently. That's because of Uranus. As I spoke of in the Uranus special horoscope for your sign, I talked about how Uranus moving through the very foundation of your chart is going to help you to understand home very differently than you ever have before. And this is going to be one of those moments where you're understanding your past very differently than you ever have before but it's ultimately in a way that allows you to go within become more reflective become more honest with yourself so that you can truly be yourself the authentic you that you know you can be connected and knowing your emotions but also transcending them so that your life is able to be lived with a greater sense of inner peace now it is as we navigate to the end of the month that's a very exciting time we have a beautiful new moon playing out it is happening close in the sky with mars with venus and mercury when we have such concentrated energy it means that what is happening on the one hand in that area becomes that much more important but how it is that things develop how it benefits you can be much more sweeping now it will be this new moon that is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. This is part of the power, part of the potential of this time. And this is where things could change very quickly. It could feel like a lucky break and things change very much to your advantage in a way that is that much more deeply meaningful for you. And again, in a way that can have a sweeping benefit to many different areas of life. And this is a part of the sky for you, and you're gonna like this, it has to do with wealth. It has to do with your relationship with financial institutions, and it has to do with your understanding of the resources available to you and how well provided you are by a wise and loving universe. Now, another layer to this has to do with being more honest with yourself. It has to do with transformations of all kinds and regeneration as well, psychological, and physical so this is going to be a time of tremendous personal power personal change but your life changing as well and in a very practical way you may find yourself actually being able to cultivate or attract the resources you need the money you need the wealth you need so that you can move towards your larger goals in different areas of your life and it can be this change, this lucky break, this streak that you find yourself on that can actually end up benefiting you in many ways for a while to come. And so this energy, um, would I say it's lottery ticket energy? Mm, not quite. Uh, it could come from the sale of a home or the sale of property. Uh, if it is that you are hoping to make a really good investment, well, this could be a wonderful time when you hear of what it is you could do. You could hear of some funding or benefits that you qualify for, so it would be good for you to consider how it is that you can put something like that into place, where it is that you are hoping to uh, submit documents, financial documents especially, um, or to reach a financial agreement. This is wonderful energy for having things go the way that you want. This is a wonderful energy to use if it is that you are in a process of therapy to actually have that session that ends up making a big difference and ends up creating this uh, very positive momentum going forward from here. This can also be a time when you realize that you have changed, that you are different. And once you appreciate that, your whole life starts to look changed your whole life starts to look better. Now, where it comes to matters of love, look, this is a big month where it comes to matters of love. It starts right out of the gate. Having that new moon in your opposite sign will speak to most Aquarians in the realm of love. 
And of course, that full moon in your sign as well, getting you honest about what you really feel. Well, it is very often love that gets us honest about that. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, when there is such important lunar energy in your opposite sign, chances are there's someone there because ultimately it is about you understanding yourself differently. As I like to say, to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. It doesn't mean that you take someone else's opinion as your own, but rather you observe your own reactions, your own interactions, and you let that guide you to a deeper understanding of yourself, perhaps a different understanding, and more ideally, a changed, gentler, kinder, more uplifting understanding. So with this energy, speaking to Uranus the way it is, I do think that an attraction may take you very much by surprise. It may take you a little bit aback as well, given where Uranus is and that Mercury goes direct the same day Mercury goes direct. I would say you put it all together and it could be that while you're working, uh, someone from your past just walks right in and takes you by surprise. Now, what you do with that is always up to you. I'm not promising you the easiest moment, okay? And the reason I say that is because it is a square, it is a conversation of some tension that Uranus is having with this new moon. And yet it is an important moment for you. It's in a moment that uh, you are able to think very quickly and you are able to see something within yourself, something that I think will help you to feel a little bit jolted back to you, the best of you and will empower you forward. Now, of course, you might meet somebody completely new as well, and that could take you very much by surprise. It is as we navigate a week into the month that there's lots of romantic luck here with you uh, to help you to feel like there are options where it comes to love. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, um, this is a big truth month for you and a big month where you look at what actually is. You're accepting what actually is and deciding whether or not it works for you. It is very all or nothing for those of you who are just getting to know someone and just dating someone. So if you're dating somebody, you may see things right about now that um, may make you have to assess this connection. But on the other hand, it can also be that you see things about yourself that make you have to assess your willingness, your readiness, your maturity, where it comes to matters of love. And that could be part of the surprise as well. The key here is to stay open, stay open to the consideration, stay open to the possibility, and allow whatever insight and inspiration needs to come to arrive. It may be that if it is transpiring in the early days of the month, you may not know exactly what to do with it, or you know, it might be a little bit quiet, if you will, but it is by the time we navigate to the middle of the month and we have that full moon that you are understanding what is going to work for you and what really isn't. You're making a much more honest evaluation. You are able to consider things from many different perspectives and from there arrive at your truth. Now, those of you who are in an established bond, it is going to be an important month for those of you in an established bond as well. And all of these energies, these lunar events will speak to established bonds. That new moon at the end of the month, uh, just off the bat, that can be really nice for your partner's income. So your partner may get some sort of a boost or some new financial opportunity that they are truly very excited about and truly very happy about as we navigate to the very end of the month and even the first days of the following month as well. Bringing it back uh, to this month, as we start this month, that new moon in your opposite sign is gonna be very powerful. There may be some things that you are realizing, some things you want to say, you don't know if you should say, um, and there might even be some surprises as well. It might be as simple as your partner behaving in uncharacteristic ways, or it might have to do with another deeper situation. But it is as we navigate to the middle of the month that you're able to really understand what your truth is and to get to your truth as well. You're able to see things from various perspectives and decide on the best way forward. Now, for some of you, it is gonna be what's happening with your partner early in the month that might not have anything to do with your relationship. It might be related to what is happening with them in their life. 
but it is possible that some of this is working out within your bond and ultimately part of a relationship uh, to learn to understand each other and to learn where it is that both of you might go through some healthy evolution, some healthy change and where it is maybe for a small percentage of you out there, what change you are being asked for uh, might not feel right. Now, regardless of how it feels as you start the month, because again, the energy could be a little quiet, it could be a little frustrating. However, once we navigate mid-month, there is just a lot of honesty there uh, and a lot of personal bravery there as well for you. As you find ways to express it, communicate it, share your journey and your learning with each other. What I love about this month for you, well look, there is a lot here, but as much as I like that give and take energy, that partnership energy, uh, the energy of you, understanding yourself, understanding another, uh, and those are very valuable lessons. Look, nothing beats that new moon at the end of the month. That really is such an empowered energy and it only gets better from there. Uh, we are going to have in the last days of the month uh, some truly beautiful connections starting between Venus and Mars, uh, between Uranus and Venus and Mars. And then next month, even though I'll talk about it once we get there, there's some really beautiful energy there as well. Uh, we are looking at beautiful connections between Venus, Mars, and Mercury, and Saturn, and Pluto. And that means that the good vibes, those uh, prosperous, uh, transformational energies that are gonna bless your life as you end this month, you will be feeling them in the last week of the month and well into next month as well. Wherever it is that you need to have an important conversation or put in an important application in order to cultivate greater prosperity for you, well, just save that till we get to the later days of this month. You'll be that much more glad for it. But of course, the greatest prosperity is transformation when it allows you to be yourself. And I would say that on a larger level, much of this month is about you learning to be more at peace. And you will find as you navigate this month that that inner peace and that peace with yourself that comes from living as truly who you are, well, it truly is the greatest type of wealth in the world. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.